ZRT has done many research studies on blood spot. Um, when we first started doing blood spot testing, um, what we found is that the levels that you, of whatever hormone, whatever analyte that we measured in uh, blood spot was the same as what we saw in serum. And that's, that's with hormones that are produced endogenously or made within the body. And so that was very good when we, when we saw equivalence of, of levels of hormones uh, either from blood spot or from uh, serum. That allowed us to go on and do other clinical studies with uh, the CDC, with uh, NIH, with many different, many different uh, universities. Um, they were very, very interested in, in looking at blood because it was just, it's just easier to collect a sample. When I think of some of the, the clinical studies that I've been involved in in the past where we had to collect blood samples, you have to have a patient give a blood sample. You're going to have to have a phlebotomist go out to a, ha to a home or that person has to come in and have someone stick a stick a, a, a needle in their vein and they collect that blood and it's it's very difficult to uh, get that blood and and separate it into into multiple tubes so many different people can do their their own studies that's and then that blood has to be frozen down uh, and stored in freezers and it's very difficult to, to label the tubes so when what I was thinking from a research perspective wouldn't it be a lot easier if we could collect a blood sample and put it on a, on a filter card and the blood is stabilized like that. You don't have to go through centrifugation, you don't have to put it in little tubes. And that would be, a, I thought, well that would be a really good way to collect blood for research studies. And that's really kind of the way things are moving in terms of research is there, it's just, it's just simpler to, to work with the blood specimens like that. And everything that we've tested in blood spot so far. I'm not saying that every single thing that we'll ever test in the future, but everything we've tested in a blood spot, we're getting pretty close to the same numbers that we see when you do a serum test on that, on that same hormone or same analyte that we're looking at. We've done a lot of work with vitamin D. Uh, we developed uh, an assay and that, uh, an assay using the dried blood spot um, We've done uh, some studies looking at estrogen and progesterone and uh, gonadotropins, LH and FSH, and their relationship to uh, menstrual cycles in women. So we're publishing a number of different studies with different people uh, using the blood spot technology. It's just, a, it's just a lot easier technology to work with. Dried blood spot testing is not unique to ZRT. It's mostly done uh, in, in research groups. Many research um, organizations will, will test, but it, it hasn't been uh, commercialized that much. Uh, it will be in the future. Some people say it is definitely the future of testing, uh, just simply because it's simpler. It requires uh, a greater uh, sensitivity for the, the testing because the levels of hormones, by the time you, you punch the sample out and you dilute it, uh, in, a, in a buffer, you, the concentration of the hormone is, is lower. It's just proportionally lower by, uh, say, tenfold. Uh, so it makes it a little more difficult to, to analyze. So um, it's been around for 30 or 40 years. It's just that um, I, think, I, I think that speaks also to the difference in ZRT and many other laboratories. You may have some laboratories that do what I'd say the testing is more or less paint by number. So they can buy the, the, the kits and they, they then do exactly the way the kit says they're supposed to do the testing. CRT is, a, is also a research and development laboratory. So that's why we were one of the first on the block to develop saliva testing. Uh, we're really one of the first on the block to develop the, um, the blood spot testing. We're first on the block to develop the dried urine testing. So because, because of our expertise in research and development, um, we can, and we spend a lot of our time and resources on, on development of new technologies for uh, the future of testing.